Now, in this example or in this video, we'll talk about the grammar of XML. So, we have two grammars. One, we have to specify the structure or we have to specify the content, right? So, in order to, in order to specify the grammar for the structure, we use DTD and this DTD stands for document. So, this is document type definition. So, your XML documentation definition. So, your XML has a proper definition or you have to provide a proper definition to it. Okay, now question is how to provide a definition. So what we need here, so in your XML, let's say I don't want this. So let's say if I miss, if I miss this name. So you can see we are not getting any, any errors. If I, even if I say validate, it is not showing any error, right? So I want to show the error. So to specify this, we have to use some, uh, we have to specify the rules. So we have to first create a DDD. So right click on your project, say new, go to others. And inside this search for DTT, it will give you that file next. Now you have to mention the file of, you have to mention the name of your DTT. So we'll say this is alien type, okay, and dot DTT. We'll click on next, anything to mention, no, finish. Now as soon as you click finish button, you can see it's, an, it's also an XML file, right? So DTT itself is an XML file. Now here we have to mention that we are using this tag here which is aliens so this is your alien so for this so everything here is an element right so you have to specify a new element here so we have to say uh, not element everything should be in capital letters then we have to specify aliens and in this aliens what are the elements you have you have to mention those elements here so we have we are mentioning this alien at uh, so let me just drop it down that's better right so now we have two window okay so we have this alien so we, we have mentioned aliens element and inside this aliens we have alien right so we'll say this is alien now once we got alien the next attribute you have to mention or the next element is your uh, alien element itself so that's element alien and in this alien you have two things one is name and second is salary right and we have to also close this so we have mentioned these two things here one we got aliens which is inside this you have alien and inside alien you have name and salary now once you have mentioned this now let's talk about name and and salary so we'll say element name and inside this name what is the type of name now so the type of name is pc data okay so we have pc data which stands for pass pass character data and the next one is salary so we'll copy this and paste so this is salary and this is of also type of pc data right so there is no error now and if i right click say write it to check everything is good yeah so there's no errors and no warning and if i go back to this file now and if I, so we have mentioned some rules. Let's see, let's see if we are getting some error. Okay, still no error because we have not taken this DTD inside this file, right? So let's take that DTD here. Now how to include the DTD inside this file? Uh, it's very simple, just have to say not doc type. So that's the thing you have to use. You have to mention everything in capital. So you have to say doc type. We have to mention what's, what's the element name. So that's alien, so that's aliens. And uh, after this, you have to mention there are two there are two specific types. One is public, second is system. So let's say if you're downloading the uh, XML from the internet, we have to use public. Since we have the system, or since we have the file inside our system, we'll say system. And we have to mention the name of your uh, file, which is alien type dot DTD. Okay, and at the end, we have to provide a uh, angular brackets, closing angular bracket. And now if I say validate, so you can see we got some errors. So the error is uh, the content of element must have an alien. So we have an alien here. But in this alien, we have not mentioned about the, uh, the attribute, right? So we have not mentioned this attribute and that's the error here. So let's specify the attribute itself. Uh, before that, let me just uh, mention name. So we'll remove name later. So first we'll complete the needful, we'll say this is Manoj. Okay, so you can see we are still getting errors because we have not mentioned about the attribute. Now how to specify the attribute here? To specify attribute, we have to say not at least. 
okay that's the attribute list you have to mention then it belongs to alien right and the the variable name which is the attribute name is aid and it is it it is mentioned as an id because we want it unique so this is like a primary key for xml uh, for sql and then we have required requirements we it is compulsory to have that aid there and we are still getting some errors okay now what's the problem so if i remove one x one alien so you can see there's no problem right so this alien can have one aliens as soon as i write more than one alien so it gives you an error the problem is you can have only one element of aliens you cannot have two elements of alien is because by default in one parent uh, tag will we can only have one child tag i mean one child of same one child of same tag to mention that we are using uh, one or more we just have to say plus plus means it is you can have one element or two elements or one or more than uh, one element you can have 10 elements 50 elements right so that's how you, you mentioned that now what if i remove this name and as, as soon as i remove that name if i say validate you're, we are getting an error it says there is uh, the alien is incomplete without name right so that's that's the rules we have we have set here okay looks good so we have one more thing we can also specify one more let's say i have one more attribute here so the favorite language not the uh, uh, speaking language but the programming language so let's say both this uh, alien they they have they're specific with one language so let's say uh, i'm comfortable with java and manoj is comfortable with c sharp so we have these two languages here okay, so not c sharp but let's say uh, python Right, so we have Java and we have Python, right? So we have these two language, but we have not specified the attribute here. So we have to specify attribute. So you have to say uh, not at least, and here we have to mention it belongs to alien and the language name. That's attribute name language. Now uh, we can specify it as uh, not required nothing. We can just specify it here. It says an error. We have to specify the okay so is it required or optional so we can set it as optional or let's say in this we'll make mention it is optional will it work with optional let's try no we have to mention required okay so it again gives you an oh the attribute type is required in the declaration of attribute line For the alien, what's that? Okay, there's some problem. Okay, anyway, so let's say I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I want to be space specific here. So a user can have a language which is Java or Python. So we can say the by default language. It's a let, let's say Java. Okay, that's the default value they have. But we can also specify that they have some. Uh, they can choose one of them. So we can say they can. They can have Java. They can have. Not Java, but small Java. Or they can have, uh, let's say they can have C and they can have Python. So if you are specifying anything other than this, that should there should be an error, right? What's the error? White space is required between the attribute and declaration. Okay, done. Okay, so that's the default values we can specify. It can have Java, C, or Python, and default is Java. So if you don't mention anything, it will give you Java, and then we have error on this side. Oh, okay. No, I don't think there's an error. So it, it should work now. Yeah, so no errors there. So we can specify any of this. But let's say if I change this Python to, let's say, COBOL. So if it's comfortable with COBOL, even if you say COBOL, it will give you an error because we have to choose the element between java c and python so that's how we can specify the rules with the help of dtd but we have only used something called a structural grammar not the content grammar and how to achieve content grammar that we'll see in the next video where we talked we'll talk about schema